It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. Uh, can I tell you how crazy Taylor is? Taylor literally had like a stroke mid conversation with us today. No. So she goes like this. She goes, she goes, she goes out of nowhere. She goes, you want to hear an interesting fact? And I was like, I was like, yeah, sure. She goes, the top three STDs in New York. Gonorrhea. No, no, no. She just stopped. <laughs> she just stopped the sentence. That's a good tease. No, no. It wasn't a tease. She stopped and went back to her work. And, and me, Ale me, Alex, and Dwayne sitting here like, you're on the edge of your seat. Yo, like, do I got one? Like, what's up? Like, like, and then we had to explain to her that that wasn't a fact. She thought that that was enough to be a no, fact. No, you got to finish. Said, you got to tell them what it is. What the fuck they are? Yeah. She's like, oh, you want to know what they are? Okay, chlamydia, gonorrhea. They're all curable. That, what'd I say? Yeah, it's all curable. <laughs> it's gonorrhea, chlamydia. I forgot the third one was. Syphilis. All curable Come shit. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I got the flu. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's dick I, flu. I will say, <laughs> I'm not get, worried. If you burn it in 2019, something wrong with you, bro. Grow up. You've been going to DR. Grow, <laughs> grow the fuck up. Grow up. <laughs> grow up, grow man. Up. Getting burned at 2019? You're a grown ass human? Yeah. <laughs> Why you said it like See, that's that? That's childish, bro. That's childish. <laughs> Think about it. All the time, listen. All it's the time. Some man shit. You don't remember all the yeah, times you heard about getting burned? When so, you was in, you heard that in high school. Like, you got yeah. burned. Yeah. 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 Childish shit, man. <laughs> but now, adults. Adults shouldn't get STDs. A especially not gonorrhea. Imagine being 40 years old at the urinal pissing and burning. That's gonorrhea, the one that pisses when yes, you hurt Yes, man. You Puss coming out your dick, you at work. Like, Whoa. Who? You mad at everybody? I think in college, too. Like, college, it was a thing. Yes. I remember I had a scare. Like, I, I had a ingrown hair, but I, I just started having sex at 18. Oh, so you like, thought it was a herpes? I thought it, bro. I thought I, my, I, thought I was going to die. Yeah. I asked, the, I asked the, the lady in the student health I'm like, I was like, yo, am I going to die? Yeah. And, then, and then she just looked at me and she was laughing. I was like, no, like, for real. Like, I need to know. I got shit to do. And she was like, no, this is a, like ingrown live? hair. And I was like, what is that? Because <laughs> I ain't never had nah, one before. Nah, I be feeling that shit too. When you get them ingrown heads, you don't know what that shit is, bro. Uh, I got scared. Like, they, what the they, fuck they, is living in dormant in me? That's ingrown. I've, I've seen that shit on girls, bro. I've seen some wild shit on girls' pussy, and I'd be like, that's an ingrown hair. I think it looked crazy. Because I'm not giving up this pussy. <laughs> <You're> convinced, <laughs> I, convinced I convinced yourself. myself. <laughs> that shit looks like yourself. full wart. And I'm like, nah, that's an ingrown hair. <laughs> it looked crazy on white people, though. What, the ingrown hairs? Yeah. Because yeah. it's, like, it's like red and like look infected. Yes, but y'all get way more because yeah. your hair is so much curlier. That's a fact. Don't know that's how to grow fact. straight out. It's like razor bumps on your dick. Exactly. That's oh. all it is. You need bevel. I told, <laughs> I told my wife the other day I wanted the motherfucking I wanted to get rid of all my pubic hair. Yo, yo I want to laser together. You want to go together and laser? I'm with it. Can we do that? Dead ass. I don't want that nah. shit, bro. Dude, so you I don't want it on my balls. And I, I, the I, older I, you get, you son, get that shit. That shit on is your just leg like a little. Here. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That shit look dumb. I know. I got to fade my shit. And then I got one gray on the left side. And I got a, a strong gray, too. You got a gray pubic hair? I got a hair? strong gray, bro. It's, it's a, Dude. A strong one. Like, you know how somebody walk in the room in their bed and you can see that one little gray? Like Damian Lemon would have yes. that strong on his chin. I got a strong gray hair on my dick, bro. I'm like, man, I am old. You heard that David Tell joke? <laughs> no. Nah, because I uh, found a gray pubic hair today. Uh, don't worry. It wasn't mine. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious Have you seen Deion Cole Stand up special No but it good I haven't seen it Everybody keeps saying How good it is uh, He's great like Deion Cole Cole is great I haven't seen, I haven't seen him In a minute yeah, But they're saying It's on that Chappelle uh, Bill Burr level Of yeah. not giving a fuck Yeah yeah He's he's unique He's uh, He's got great delivery He's got a great voice too No no Deion's funny man I, gotta watch I never it. heard yeah. you say Anything bad about a comic Ah uh, yeah That's you don't do that true. No, not on, not on like this. Oh, got you. Got yeah, I've yeah, never yeah, heard him true. say anything like, "Oh no, he's terrible." Like, never on this, because right. that's G code. It's like you know, that's our thing. Yeah. We talk about our shit. We handle it with us. If a comic steals, that's different because you broke the rules. Oh, okay. So, so if he tells on you, you allowed to snitch on him. Or if he, yeah, exactly. Well, I guess. <laughs> no, I don't know how the snitching shit works, mm -hmm. but like, if you could, for example, like, if. Carlos Mencia is stealing jokes, right? He was out there stealing jokes. So the community was like, yo, you're you're out, you're out. It's done. You're He's stealing jokes. Out. Exactly. Damn, I ain't heard that name in forever. Well, that's why. Got him out of there. Wow. That. Yeah. Y'all worse than the mob. We don't no, play No, y'all worse than Trump. Y'all, you, you know who we're worse than, but you don't want <laughs> 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 That's Stephen A. Smith. Hey, man. Hey, listen. Salute to the Jewish people. 
All right. Salute to the Jewish unit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jew, I'm, I'm, I'm not even saying. I'm not even showing it. Them, listen, I have no problem with the way they move. And the reason I have no problem with the way they move is because they have struck a fear in people. And people know not to fucking play with them. I think they look out for their own. I don't know what it is. But I just know people know not to fucking play with them. Stephen A. Smith. And, I, and now that I hear it again, I understand what Stephen A. Smith was trying to say. He was like... You don't hear nobody outside of the Jewish communities talking X, Y, and Z because people know to watch their fucking mouth when talking about the Jewish community. Six nine snitch on everyone but the Jews, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see Brooklyn. them ask him. They yeah. asked him. They like, yo, what's up with these 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 apartment buildings that they got mad people living in? They're charging crazy rent. I don't know nothing. Nothing, bro. That's what he said. I don't know. Listen, it's because they it's because they have proven throughout time they don't bullshit. When you fuck with them and say something that they don't like, or you insult them in some way, shape, or form, there's nothing wrong with that. By the way, cancel culture, cancel culture ain't nothing but what they've been doing. That's what everybody's trying to adopt. Everybody's trying to be able to shut shit down the way they shut shit down. Yeah, but cancel culture is a little different because there's people with no power trying to shut down people. That's my with power. point. They want power. Yeah, but they don't have the power that the, the, the Jewish conglomerate got. Yeah, but the, yeah, but the Jew, Jewish conglomerate has power. Yes. Right? So they actually can do it to protect their interests. Like some fucking nerd in a basement that's like tweeting at somebody is gets off on the fact that a corporation, a billion dollar corporation, bends to his whim. By the way. Or her whim. You're that's right. where they get their rocks off. You're right. And a corporation a corporation first of all, they don't even have to lift a finger. And they don't reason they have to lift a finger. As soon as you open your mouth to say something slick, that corporation will get rid of you before the smoke even comes. Right. Mm -hmm. By the time the smoke comes, they're like, oh, we got rid of him already. Don't yeah. even worry about it. Ain't no smoke. What you mean? There's no smoke. It wasn't even a fire. It's gone. Got rid of him. It's gone. gone. Yeah, right. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you're right. You see, Stephen A. Smith couldn't even finish his sentence. Molly cut that shit off. Hey, Molly, hey. <laughs> she, 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 she know how to distract people. She took a knee. She, she bought him Colin Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick. Yeah, yeah, Colin Kaepernick. Like, that's, that's literally what she did. She literally, she Colin knew exactly Kaepernick, how to deflect. John Carlos, she had a fist up in there. No, 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 Colin Kaepernick. <laughs> like, what? That don't got nothing to do with <laughs> What the fuck are we talking about? Colin Kaepernick, OJ Simpson on Twitter when we're back. Let's go to commercial. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Right, what the fuck is that? All right, you said you saw the Joker. Oh, but bottom, let's put a button on that. Salute to the Jewish community. <laughs> you are respected. Mazel tov, Hey, man. I don't know what Andrew just said. You are respected.